Snapmaker Artisan has three functions, 3D printing, laser engraving and cutting, and CNC carving and cutting. In this video, we'll show you how to set it up as a CNC carver and cutter with the enclosure. Because the CNC function must be used in combination with the enclosure, you need to assemble the machine and enclosure first. Then follow this video to set up the CNC function. Here, you'll use the 200 watt CNC module, the CNC carving and cutting platform, and the AC power cable. Turn the cam handle of the support platform left to loosen it and install the CNC platform above. Make sure it's clamped correctly and then turn the cam handle right until it's tight. Next, loosen the cam handle of the tool head bracket and slide in the 200 watt CNC module from the right. Make sure it's fully in and then tighten the cam handle. Plug the tool head cable into the 200 watt CNC module and make sure the cable is not tangled with other machine parts. Now, recheck if the cable is fixed by the cable clip at the correct positions. Finally, connect the controller to an electric outlet with the AC power cable. Remove the base plate sticker. Now, you're ready to use the CNC function. To switch from 3D printing to CNC function, you need to unload the filament from the dual extrusion module and put the filament tube away. Remove the tube fixture first and press tight the round clamp at the filament entry. Pull out the tube and attach the tube fixture back. After that, you can stick the provided tube clips to the illustrated position inside the enclosure and press the filament tube into the clip so that it won't get in the way of CNC processes. Or you can remove the filament tube by pressing tight the round clamp on the tube holder and pulling the tube out of the enclosure. Next, go to Module Assistant on the touchscreen. Tap Replace Module. Then unplug the tool head cable and remove the dual extrusion module. Disconnect the heated bed and put the dust plug on the connector of the heated bed cable to block material debris during CNC processes. Lastly, remove the heated bed. And you're ready to set up the CNC function. That's all for this video. If you'd like to know how to set up the 3D printing and laser functions, we have other videos for your reference. Thank you for watching.